Now to St. Johnsbury, where two people from Peacham pleading not guilty to charges related to a kidnapping that happened last Friday. NBC 5's John Hawks has more on what happened in court today. 45-year-old Mac Furnham and 37-year-old Nicole Cloutier in court today facing charges of attempted first-degree murder, kidnapping, unlawful restraint, and aggravated domestic assault. Police say on Thursday, Varnum and Cloutier picked up a victim in Varnum's truck in Peachum after getting into a dispute about drugs. Their connection, they all lived together. It seemed that Ms. Cloutier and Mr. Varnum were a bit more of, of a romantic type relationship, uh, but all three of them uh, were living in the house uh, at, at the same time. They allegedly bound the victim's hands with duct tape and put a bag over her head. According to court documents, she told police she couldn't breathe or move. Mr. Varnum uh, said he was going to pour gasoline on her and burn her. Um, in the affidavit, um, uh, it is, is offered as the reason for all of this is that uh, Ms. had uh, stolen an AR-15 from Mr. Varnum and sold it to a drug dealer for $300. At one point, Varnum stopped at a gas station to buy gloves and more duct tape. According to police, Varnum threatened to kill the victim. The prosecutor is saying that he was upset with her for other reasons, too. She'd also used his truck earlier in the day to buy some drugs, um, and Mr. Varnum was not happy with that. Um, and there was a bit of an altercation at the house that before the abduction took place. But the victim was left alone in the truck and was able to drive away and ended up in St. Johnsbury. She was taken to the hospital and treated and released. Varnum and Cloutier arrested at Varnum's home Friday. Both defendants pleading not guilty to kidnapping, unlawful restraint, and aggravated assault charges. 24-hour rule of entered to all three charges. Varnum faces an attempted first-degree murder charge. He's due in court on Tuesday to answer for that. Both are being held without bail at Northeast Regional Correction Center. I certainly feel there's plenty, plenty of probable cause for the charges as filed. In St. Johnsbury, John Hawks, NBC5 News.